Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. All right. Will you pray with me? Loving God, may all we hear and speak be a reflection of your wisdom, love, and grace. Amen. Amen. So today we begin our sermon series on biblical themes in movies. Uh, sometimes I'll be, move, I'll be using movie clips to illustrate the theme of the scripture, and sometimes the movie will be in the movie clip will be in place of the scripture. And so today I used a uh, scene from uh, the Fellowship of the Ring, uh, the Council of Elrond, in which a debate is held uh, over what to do with the powerful ring held by the Hobbit Frodo. And the representatives of the free people, that is the races of Middle Earth who are not controlled by Sauron, have gathered in Rivendell uh, to decide the best course of action. Dwarves, elves, men, hobbits, and wizards are all present to make this decision. Uh, and it's not easy because the ring itself, uh, in the manner of magic rings of power, is trying to influence the decision. Clearly, it doesn't want to be destroyed, and so it tries to make their divisions greater. And you saw that in the scene with the, the flames, and it's, you can hear it whispering in, in, it's whispering in Orcish. Um, it, it tries to make the division stronger the, between the elves and men and, and dwarves and, and elves and men and elves and so on. And in the midst of all this um, argument and dissension, Frodo stands up and makes a very difficult decision. We are all Frodo, aren't we, at some point in our lives. Think about it. He's in the midst of this council, this discussion of concepts he barely understands, places he's never been and doesn't know how to get to, dangers he doesn't know how to handle or if he can handle them, which Boromir has just described in excruciating detail, very frightening, and yet he, we, feel responsible for the quest, the journey task. It's a good parallel to Jesus sending out those 70 disciples, to sending us out. We don't know what we're facing, but we're willing. We take it on. Going out with only what we have, our bag and our shoes and our talent and our knowledge, that ring, trusting that what we need will show up on the journey, that we will find places to stay and friends to help and light in the darkness along the way, as the disciples do, as Frodo does, as we do. Some of you, maybe most of you, have seen the rest of the movie or have read the books, and you know what happens to Frodo. He embarks on this epic journey with his companions, the Nine, who in the beginning are simply aside for the most part. He doesn't know Legolas the elf, or Gimli the dwarf, or Boromir the man. Gandalf the wizard is a friend, and, and Sam, Mary, and Pippin are old friends. And Aragorn is becoming one. And over time, they become dear to each other, true friends who would and do fight to the death for each other. Frodo meets other friends who give him shelter, Galadriel and Kelborn the elves, Faramir, who's another man, and even Gollum, who in the beginning is definitely not a friend, but guides him. And they give him gifts. The cloaks, ropes, and food of Galadriel and Kelborn sustain and protect Frodo and Sam on their journey to Mordor. And the light in the crystal vial of Galadriel gives them light to see in the lair of Shiloh, the spider. And in the end, they are saved by their friends, the eagles, sent by Aragorn and Gandalf. Frodo did not know the way. He had no idea how to get to Mordor, or how to overcome the obstacles in the way, or how to fight the dangers. 
but he had faith that he was doing what he ought to do, that this task was his to do, and therefore he would be able to do it. Not that it would be easy, or simple, or fun, or that he would even survive it, but that it was his task to do. And so he set out in faith. How many of us begin our journey of faith with that same trust? We don't know what we'll be called to do or where we'll be, where we'll be called to do it, but we have faith that we will be given what we need to do the work that we are called to do, whatever that task will, may be. And like Frodo, we aren't alone. We have companions, heart friends, to do the work with us. Together, we do the work of faith and love, and we receive gifts and shelter, and we give gifts and shelter along the way. Some of us are called to leadership in the Christian community or in the world. Some of us are called to teach, some to serve under one kind or another. Some of us are called on to give of our time or talents in music or bookkeeping or baking or cooking or other creative skills, administrative talents, counseling or caring, organizing, hospitality, and so on. Each member of the Fellowship of the Ring had talents that were needed at some point, even if that talent or that need wasn't apparent in the beginning and even if that person seemed to be a burden on the others at times. In the end, the quest to Mount Doom could not have succeeded without each one of them. All nine of them contributed, and all nine of them were vital to the success of the quest, even Legolas. <clears throat> Mary and Pippin, who felt like extra luggage at some point, turned out to be heroes saving the lives of Faramir and Eowyn, Sam literally carried Frodo at the end. Legolas and Gimli protected the others and offered their skills in war and tracking. Boromir saved Merry and Pippin's lives. Aragorn was their leader, making the difficult decisions, as was Gandalf, leading them in dark and dangerous places. Those of you who have seen all the movies and read the books can tell I'm trying, trying not to give too much away. My point is that every one of us in a community has gifts to offer, whether others can see them or whether they are needed now or at some other time. Whether they were needed 10 years ago or 10 years from today. A community doesn't ask, what are you doing for me today? As Jesus pointed out, you go where you are invited, and you stay there until you leave. You don't shop around for the best food and bed. When you find community, you stick with it. We live in community, in companionship, in fellowship. We travel through life together. May we continue our journey of faith, in faith, to the very end. In all God's names, amen.